Today we are going to talk about toxic culture, cancer culture, toxicity in the dog world. And I will give you two examples of groups or forums in specific fields. So the first example is uh, that of outcrossing and the other one is the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. So, without further ado, first state what toxic and cancer culture brings. So they, they want you to uh, not express yourself. They only have one view that they want to be expressed. And it's oftentimes their view is very close to their heart. And they don't want you to have your own opinion or show your uh, how do you say this? Uh, your meditations, why, and your reasoning, why you have a, a good view as well, or maybe even better. Culture in uh, Staffordshire Bull Terrier land, especially in forums or Facebook groups, specifically depicted at those that have a dog that is not to the current standard which are show standards to begin with but especially not to the current type of show dogs and why is that? So Staffordshire Bull Terrier was once a Bull and Terrier breed so a pit dog and then they had their first show standard and the first show standard is very close to the type of dogs that I had namely close to the Bull and Terrier, the pit dogs and that is because they were still dogs capable of performing well. And then the first show standard was revised. So what they did is they kept the weight and reduced the, the height of the widths. So that results in a lot, much more bulky type of dog to further discriminate it from other type of breed. So no longer function, but only form was followed instead of form follows function as in a working breed. But the Irish, they kept to the working standards a lot longer and therefore they still have dogs that look a lot more closer to the original example. But even if you look at the, the revised show standard, most of the today's show dogs are much heavier still than those dogs that they had uh, as an example for the revised standard. So they over exaggerating and over exaggerating more and more. Um, why are they, are they so toxic against you if you show another narrative? It's quite easy. They see and they are confronted with your dogs that this is the way that it really should be. And instead of rethinking it to themselves and doing something with that knowledge, they just go against it and they display toxicity and block you out, cancel you, cancel your voice, block your membership, remove your posts that they cannot uh, disseminate because you're spitting facts, the truth. And that's the same thing, there was also a guy with petrodotarius on the forum and he was despised all the time and he left and that's what toxic culture and toxicity in those groups too. But if you look at these dogs, these are Petrodale Terriers. They look a lot more like, especially a male, like a functioning Bull Terrier, that's the original Chefsie Bull Terrier, than their dogs do. But that's not something that they like. About the Irish Chefsie Bull Terrier, they could say, okay, they are too big. But those Petrodale Terriers, they are smaller than their dogs. And still have working capability. They still have to really uh, functional build. And if you also look in the history of the Platinum Terrier, they are from the Northumberland. The Northumberland Terriers are the Bull Terriers that were smaller. So the smaller dogs could not only be combating in the ring, and could also be used for other blood sports such as red pits. Because in the red pit, they count how many rats you are able to kill within a certain time frame and divide it by the weight. It's a 
Smollett also be in favor. And those were Tumberland Terriers, which were small pit type of dogs, were then crossed with Border Terriers, and Nathan's, and uh, Paddington Terriers to create the Paddington Terrier that we now know. So as an optimal working type of Border Terrier. And that's something that they just cannot live with. And they try to block out as much as possible if you tell them the truth what should be prioritized in the breed. So I hope this video helps. I'm not saying that complete stuff should boot every year is a miss. They also have very nice people around. They're very open-minded, even if they like show dogs. But there are also some that really block out other views. And already the show dog is, of course, dominant in the views because most of the boat areas are of that type. Easy as that. Have a great day. This cancel culture is so toxic and so bad because it will move the other views and the other views will increase the field of knowledge. Especially those minority groups that are closer to the working dog, the original dog, often have a lot more knowledge and should be cherished. Even if you're not able to do it yourself, they should be cherished because they have the biggest hope to still improve the breed or bring it back to its glorified self once it was still had a purpose. So that's that. And by blocking them out, you just remove opposite views and you go to a mainstream type of dog. So all dogs will look the same, they will be as easy as possible to handle instead of real working candidates. So you're not longer separating dogs on the performance, you're separating them only on looks, but they all are bland, easygoing dogs that have no drive or very little drive at all and are very hard to manage and to increase for a specific purpose because they are a mix of everything. And also the wolf, is a, a jack of all trades and a master of none, so to say, but it's still a very good, capable killer. It's a very capable killer. Also, a dog that can do that is no longer part of society and can uh, very hard be handled. They, they took a lot of time to make them very dog friendly, very human friendly, and also uh, purposeful. But that is a hard task to achieve. And then if you look at the uh, uh, Staffordshire Bull Terrier Society, why is it toxic? Especially those small groups that still have the working Bull Terrier. And even if they are not uh, show winning dogs, that's all the better. If a, a Staffordshire Bull Terrier currently is winning a show, I would almost automatically exclude it from being a good dog. Because the show is just exaggerated. But if the dog has very good characteristics, I would, I would want to change my mind. If it can perform better than the other dogs, I would be very welcome to rethink it. Then I will also look at how it uh, inherits its traits. That's also an important thing to consider. Hope this uh, video helps. Have a great day. This is my Petadil Terrier, BSL Estacado, which shows you more how a working type staff should look like and the current day shows effort. Have a great day.